all right guys so this is the update video number three regarding the helmet basically um i'm gonna give a heads up on what ha has been improved and what all has been still slow so um we are on the final hurdle of fixing a battery pack and a char charging circuit to the helmet i mean i'm almost at the verge of making it wireless I'm just looking forward to some issues regarding like how bright can it be when it's running how long will it last in full brightness and certain patterns might be limited but i'm still working on it and the great news is within 24 hours of releasing the pre-orders for the prototype which is a closed program which people if interested can participate link is in the bio you can fill in your details if you are interested really prices are completely cheaper than the final product at the same time i'll be providing uh, support and uh, a huge discount to the final people who will be buying you know the final kit so right now i have a uh, prototype testers from Bangalore, Kerala and um, Bangalore person is Mr. Abdul, he is doing a very good job by supporting, he is uh, planning on putting an entire new helmet to just make the LED uh, uh, setup. I have reduced the size of the chip to almost 60% from the original form factor, this is a great deal because uh, if you are making it battery powered I want it to be one encapsulated unit that goes behind your helmet, nothing more than that. At the same time I'm thinking, uh, what do you guys have in suggestion? Do you guys want battery power to be completely battery powered or do you want it to be like if you plug in the wire you can charge and use it at the same time let me know in the uh, comments below if you really think this is a good feature i should more than that if you have any more features please leave it in the comments i am going through everything you guys are commenting you can hit me up on instagram at this username um i will be answering your questions you have uh, set up an extra number just for making sure that you guys can reach me out you can call me anytime on that number and alongside that i'm very happy to announce we accept emis debit card credit card net banking on all of our pre-orders and final purchase so that will that is also on the way and uh, actually the pre-orders can still have be accepted using emi so if you have credit card be more than happy to buy the pre-orders i mean you can leave an inquiry right at this number so other than that um Things are pretty good. I'm happy over that. And I have found some supplies which are reducing the price also. Things are getting back on track from COVID. I got a new little fancy mask over here. Because I have to go out to get the things and I don't want to you know, risk myself. Yeah, uh, basically yeah, that's that. And um, yeah, pretty much there's a helmet hanging over there. For, uh, playing a palette pattern. And uh, I think it's one of the most gorgeous patterns which I personally love. Other than that, thank you for staying this close and giving me all the love and support. Really, really pushes me a lot. And I hope this clarifies all the doubts as of now. Uh, many people have asked me is one question, when is it going to be ready? I'm expecting post December. Yeah, that would be a very good timeline I would stick to. Prototypes, final prototype will be done by uh, November and December we'll start with the few orders which can be placed if you are considered enough to go through the pre-order process for the prototypes so thank you for watching if you like it um if you really want to like show some love and support and make this video go popular hit the like button and comment your doubts regarding the helmet or features you want to add i'll make sure i go through them thank you for watching guys this is sandesh and stay lit